In producing this program on rock art, we naturally turned to a woman whose mission was to document and preserve rock art sites around Nevada. The reason that we're all out here today is because this rock art is here. The site itself is fabulous, this whole area is wonderful, and we're out here to help provide a thorough documentation, a complete record of the rock art as it exists today so that later on we can watch for any changes, vandalism or natural degradation and deterioration through time. All of this stuff will become a part of the official site record. So you're actually, the contribution made by the volunteers is more important than I can say. If we had to pay professional archaeologists to come out and do the level of recording that we do, there isn't enough money in the world to do it. So the, the contributions that you guys make by providing your effort and labor to come out and do this is just, it's immeasurable. Museums are a great place for you to learn about the history and the culture of native peoples of Nevada, but whenever you come out into the landscape and you see the real stuff in the real place, that really makes it come home to you, the significance and the importance of these places. They're petroglyphs, that means they're engraved. Um, they're made uh, right here in a large site, a large complex of archaeological materials and, and other features that are part of where the people who made these petroglyphs lived. They lived right here among the petroglyphs and they made their dinner here. The site's uh, uh, well known for having ground stone and all those kinds of things associated with it. Not too many uh, representational images, people and animals so much, as things that are more abstract like these or this larger image over here. It's really anybody's guess what that might mean. It looks sort of like a plant of some kind or something. And it's interesting that this particular shape or design is repeated several times throughout this site, particularly. That might even be something like a clan marker or something that identifies this place, some specific thing, um, because you do see it repeated here at this site several times. And we have things that are very common that you find throughout the world. We might call that a sunburst or, or something like that. And you do see those everywhere. We have lots of sites in the hills surrounding us here. We may or may not have any more sunburst. So then we would start to look at where else do you see a sunburst? Does it have some kind of connection to the site that it's in and what other characteristics are there? So you, you really can't look for meanings just by looking at one image, one site. The sites that are very close to the cities, the people are going to those sites now in large, large numbers, and so we've decided to involve the people who love the past and love the, love the history of the state of Nevada. We've decided to involve them in the protection of that history, and uh, so that's what we're doing out here today. Uh, we're training people to participate in the protection of the history that we all love. All of the creativity and the, the inspiration that we all feel when we come out in here is something that uh, we think rock art in particular that brings that, brings that alive in people, and so they want to be a part of the process. Most people love it and they want to be a part of the process of protecting it. Soon after our program was ready for release and while she was preparing for a field trip, Dr. Alana Woody suddenly passed away on July 19, 2007. Dr. Alana Woody, she has taught us well. If you'd like to join her mission, please contact the Nevada Rock Art Foundation. <laughs>